Today is January 31st, 2014, 1 17 a.m. I've written another speech. This one goes out to all the abusers tonight on my YouTube channels. Pissed off because I tried to motivate them. Here goes. When one, anyone, I don't give a shit if you're Civ, if you're Marine, Army, Navy, or Air Force that speaks against my nation or what I'm endeavoring to do on her behalf in my own way that is not appreciated, to me is an asshole. If you can't further the cause to help her, you are an asshole. How I speak, talk, cuss, whatever, is my freedom of speech, which many better than you have given me that right to include my dad, my family, and our forefathers. Yet you dumb fucks think because I use that colorful language is such a shock coming from a woman. Who the fuck are you kidding? You liars. If, if you're being Marines, you don't use it? Oh, please, you fucking A. You use it, and probably worse than the sailors do. Because I'm disgusted with the pussy cowardice actions of those not willing to stand up to defend her. Whether you've done so in the past doesn't mean shit. Because she needs your help now. Here, on her soil, not some foreign land, but here. To not promote or instill actions to the populace, but rather to have your buddies defend your lack to promote her defense? It's insane. It's not about me. It's not about our <clears throat> country if, if you've lost the love for her. It's about our country. And if you've lost the love for her, fuck you one and all. And just because you were in the Marines, for all I know, you were a damn clerk. And it doesn't warrant any respect just because you were in the branch of the armed services for the Marines. Any fucking more than it would have been for the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy. Got it? Salute. I respect them all. I personally cry for every military person that falls for the charade of having been suckered into believing they were fighting for our country when they were fighting to preserve the corporations. I got that from my dad, who was a, jo a joint Chiefs of Staff member, a combat army soldier, a command sergeant major. I may not have served in our military as an enlisted person, but I think I paid my dues in some respect for having followed my dad all over this world, who did have my highest respect, unlike you. Because, you see, he chewed people like you up. There comes a time when Father in Heaven will cut the wheat from the chaff, and you apparently are the chaff. Why, you may ask, do I say that? Because you are now doing nothing to further the cause for this great country. You're a has-been. You're over the hill. You've given up. Wherefore, that, in my view, means you're weak. I am a soldier in my own respect. Just because I have not worn the military uniform does not mean I don't have my scars for fighting for justice, for righteousness, for equality, for peace, for happiness, for joy, for those I have represented for 13 years without compensation. On the battlefront before the capital of my state, for injured workers and workers alike, because no one is guaranteed that tomorrow your ass just might be where my ass sits today. You think a fucking attorney is going to help you after you're totally disabled? Ha ha ha. You are ignorant. I wear my badges of honor on the inside right where my heart is. No, I've not heard the bombs of war. 
I've heard the screams of injured workers that are without their pain medicines. No, I have not seen the bloody gore, but it's coming. I have, however, witnessed the tears to include those of my own. When I speak for hours over the phone with injured workers who I've talked out of blowing their heads off, encouraging them to keep up the good fight, searching for reasons for them to continue living. People take the f up the fight, you see, in different ways. Just because yours with w was with weapons of mass destruction does not demean the manner in which I fight the war of injustice. God is separating that wheat from the chaff, and if you have no fight left in you other than to call an old lady a bitch, a whore, a hag, a bag, or come down on me with your friends because I att att attempted to motivate you to stand up, well then you go on, young man, as you have, for you have lost your honor in my eyes and your self-respect. We are all fighting to survive, and if we don't all unite to do so, well, then all will be lost. You don't get it because you've done given up, and for that, I feel sorry for you. Some care, some don't. Which are you? Some stand, some won't. Which will you do when the time comes? Some will die, some will suffer, some will languish. Some will fight and some won't. What will you do? Are you ready mentally? You damn well better get that way because it's coming. It's you or them. Which side are you on? What are you made of? Do you care about yourself? If not, do you care about your family? Are you a coward or are you God's child walking upright in the light? Come what may and stand to fight. Which are you? You going to write? Uh, are you going to watch her die, and you along with her, or are you going to lend her a hand to help her stand? She needs you now as never before. You know the drill. You know the score. She's provided you all you've had. <coughs> Will you help her before she's sad? I don't give a shit what you've done in your past. Her hour is now, or her hour shall pass. Either you get off your ass and help her up, or you're fucked. When she goes down for the last count and you meet your maker, what will you say? I was a coward, so I let him take her. What have you done? What will you do? Besides bitch at me for what I do. God made, uh, get made, shit, get mad at me all you will, but motivate yourself to get up the hill. March to help her up off her knees through her trying days, I beg you please, get up, those of you that are a worthless lot, do something or you will sink and rot, ride along with her for you have not the gumption or love to protect and guide her, you sought. The right for incl nor inclination to call her your own, you've abandoned her and left her alone. Fuck you one and all who continue to sit on your ass and watch her fall. While she dies before you and she'll not long last, rise up now, get to your feet and get off your ass. Take up whatever you have to march the streets on May 16th. Written for the love of my country, Father, bless America. I am Carol Roberts. All rights reserved.